It is a requested uh, poem analysis. The poem The Blossom by John Donne. The important facts about this poem is John Donne treated uh, you know the two kinds of love. One is Petrarchan love, second is Plat Platonic love, convention of love. And uh, he treated them uh, both of them ironically. Now let's see what is the difference between the both uh, both kind of love. According to the Petrarchan convention, the lover was devoted lover see was devoted, faithful and constant, while the beloved was cruel, proud, scornful and unresponsive. She was often the wife of another, and so could not approach as any contact with her without be illicit. But still, the lover continued to love and adore her. Thus, Petrarchan love was a one-sided affair. You can call it one-sided affair. On the other hand, in Platonic love, there might be some response, the other part of the beloved. But then it was purely spiritual love. Okay, a union of mind, but not of uh, bodies. Don has uh, Don has no use of such one-sided or purely spiritual love. In in his view. The beloved should be responsive and love can be real and lasting. Love can be uh, lasting only when it is uh, a union both of mind and body. Therefore, the poet is not satisfied with the unresponsive beloved and leaves for London where he will he will find another friend who will be glad to have both his body and his mind so here the theme of the poem is frankly petrarchan you can see uh, but it has been treated as an original and individual manner Dunn does not say petrarchan was now let's see the poem let's read the poem now little thinkest thou poor flower whom i have watched six or seven days and seen thy birds and seen what every are you can understand this poem it is simple but the background is important to know and seen what every are gave to thy growth thee to the this high to raise and how does laugh and triumph on this bow little thinkest you okay thou so okay that will freeze anon and that i shall tomorrow find thee fallen and not at all so here you can see John Donne in the first stanza of the poem The Blossom addresses his beloved as poor flower, says that he has been watching the growth of her youth, beauty for six and seven days. Uh, that means for some time past. Poet past ke baare baat kar hai ki usse, uh, dekhta tha itne dino tak. And he has observed everything about her. He has seen the birth of her beauty and how it continued to grow every day. He used to analyze her and uh, today proud of her youth and beauty she is triumphant triumphant like a beautiful flower standing high on its stalk she does not realize that her beauty is short-lived time will soon destroy her beauty as a flower is killed by frost and snow soon so here comparison is between flower and uh, uh, the you can say her, his beloved Soon the poet will find her youth and beauty all fallen to pieces as the petals of a full-grown flower fa fall to the ground and all its beauty is no more. Little thinkest thou poor heart that laborest yet to nestle thee and thinkest by hovering here to get apart if a forbidden of forbidding tree and hopest her stiffness by long seized bow little thinkest thou that the oh tomorrow uh, the sun doth wake must with the sun and me a journey take the poet through this stanza addresses his heart and says that it is in vain for it to hover around his beloved and in this way to try to secure a resting place in her love and affection it will never succeed in its efforts so here you can see forbidden trees and other things these are biblical references are used here but thou which lovest to be subtle to plague thyself wilt say alas if you must go what 
what's that to me here lies my business and here i will stay you go to friend those love and means present various content to your eyes ears and taste every part if then your body go what need your heart in this stanza again you can see poet's heart poet's heart which devise subtle means of self torture replies to the poet even if because he cannot get her even if the poem poet goes away it does not make much difference to the poet's heart so you can see it is a uh, divine love kind of divine love and uh, the poet will have no need of heart for elsewhere he would find new friend who will provide him with full sensuous gratification his senses eyes ears tongue and every part would be fully satisfied this body will go with him and he will not miss the miss his art heart is the seat of love and affection and there he will have no need of it because he does not have his uh his beloved well then stay here but no when thou hast stayed and done thy most a naked thinking heart that makes no show is it to a woman but a kind of ghost how shall she know my heart or having none know thee for one practice may make her know some other part but take my word she does not know a heart here he permits his hearts to stay behind and continue with his love making but when it has done with utmost to win her over then it would realize that for a woman a naked thinking heart like a ghost is an object of fear rather than of love and affection in other words women require sexual gratification and merely spiritual love cannot gratify her a woman can never recognize a heart means according to poem the poet okay a woman can never recognize a heart because she herself has none okay it's it's really fun to read such comment on women's women okay because she has herself has none means she was really hurt done mr done by experience she may recognize other parts but she can never recognize a heart therefore the poet assures the heart that she would never realize that it is his heart and therefore it will be useless for it to say behind me in the london then 20 days hence and thou shalt see me fresher and more fat by being with man then it if i had stayed with, still with her and thee for god's sake if you can be you so too i will give you there to another friend whom we shall find as glad to have my body as my mind the poet finds that the heart is obstinate and will remain behind means he is uh, unable to go away from such feelings he cannot forget her he asks it to meet him in london after 20 days it will find that he has grown fresher more fat than he would have been had he stayed there in london he would give his heart to such friends as would be glad to have his body as well as his mind true love relationship is both of the body and the spirit according to dern it is only such relationship that gives satisfaction yeah, quite true okay i hope you enjoyed the video and you have got the explanation of the poem and read the poem uh, actually we should read the if we want to analysis a poem we want to understand we should read the poem at least 10 times so that we can get a sense or we can say aesthetic pleasure from a poem if we read that again and again and we try to analyze every single word so i hope you enjoyed here Bye bye take care see you in next video